Android 13 Tiramisu features leaked. Hey peeps, what's up Munchie here, back with another video and we have some news about Android 13 Tiramisu features. Yes, you might be wondering that, hey Munchie, Google has not been able to stabilize Android 12 on its Pixel devices and we are getting leaks about Android 13 Tiramisu. Well, my dear friends, that is the world which we live in right now. So without any further ado, let us get down to the leaked features of Android 13 Tiramisu. Of course, the disclaimer here is that we do not know what features make to the final build of Android 13 when it is released next year in 2022. First up, we have something called App Languages. So in the current situation or in Android 12, if you go into Settings, System, Languages and Input, you can of course change your language to a bunch of different languages. But this makes sure that every app is in that specific language. Now, what if you want to say have your system language as English, but you are using a specific application, say WhatsApp, and you want that in Hindi. Well, that is something which might be coming with Android 13 Tiramisu and you will find that option in settings, system and here you will have the option of app language and therein you can choose your language on a per app basis as long as the application supports the different languages. And as for the leaks, you can also access this feature if you go into the application info so press and hold on any application go into the information option this is your app info page and you should have the option of choosing your application language from this specific page as well the next leaked feature of android 13 tiramisu is giving notification access at runtime or runtime permissions for your notifications now what does this mean in the current android ecosystem if you go into settings and then you go into notifications and app settings here you can control the per app notifications but this is you know an additional task for the end user and google feels that a lot of people do not know about this so what they are trying to implement with android 13 tiramisu is as soon as you open the application for the first time it is going to ask you whether the app can send you notifications or not and this is something which is very similar to what is already being done in ios now an example of this runtime permission would be let us say i open a camera application in android right now you will notice that it asks me that hey the camera wants to take pictures and record video do you want to give this permission or not and i say while using the application similarly you would also get a pop-up notification about hey the open camera or say this application wants to send you notifications do you want to do that so that is what they mean by sending the notification access or sending notifications permission at runtime when you open the app for the first time you will get a notification asking you to let the app send you notifications and of course if you go into your application info one more time you should be able to go into permissions and see the option for notifications over here with android 13 tiramisu the next leaked feature of android 13 tiramisu is called tear t-a-r-e which stands for the android resource economy now this one is like kind of difficult to explain but i will still give it a try basically what google is doing is it is setting limits on how many tasks an application can schedule through two schedulers which they use something called job scheduler and the other one is alarm manager now the limits on how many tasks an application can execute are based on your battery level and they will be giving the app some credits and then when the app uses the tasks those credits are taken away now this feature might be in very early stages right now which is why we do not have too many details and if we get more details you will get to know those details on this very channel and last but not the least with android 13 tiramisu if you want your lock screen clock to look like this instead of the 
big one which they have you should be able to do that without having to perform any workarounds now if you're running android 12 want to know a workaround on how to get your lock screen clock from the big text to this elegant one we do have a video for that which can be found in the description of the video but do note that is a workaround anyways with android 13 teramasu you can go into settings and then display in lock screen here and you should see a toggle to enable or disable your double line clock yes that i think is a feature which will be appreciated by a lot of us because not everybody is a fan of this lock screen clock which you have on your screen right now and it should be a welcome change from google and there it is peeps those were the leaked features of android 13 tiramisu and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you